Hi everyone, how are you? So here I'm going to show you how to upload the file which is having a large size more than 32 MB. So here I'm at my local host and I'm in the PHP my admin but here so I'm going to upload some of the file but this has like I have a constraint here which is more than 32 MB. I can't upload any of the file. So let me show you that error. So I'll choose the file from the so from the finder in the Mac. And one more thing, so the, uh, the process I'm going to show you it's only for Mac not for Windows. For Windows, you can search for in YouTube and you will get a lot of tutorials on that. Okay, so once I selected that file, Moodle.sql, I click on the go, but that file is having 34 MB, not 32 MB, then I'll get this error, which is you probably try to upload a file that is too large. Okay, but how to solve this issue? Let me show you the workaround, how to solve this issue. What you need to do, first you need to go to this uh, local host slash map. So this one is uh, I'm going to use the so localhost slash map and uh, once I click on this you will see this uh, website from the localhost which is the map one. Here you have this particular one php info. So in future it may change this option but please find this uh, php info wherever you can find it. Here once you click on the php info you will have this uh, kind of uh, all the parameters where they are. Now here the command f and here what you need to do, you need to search for php.ini. So php.ini is a file where we are going to say change the settings of the PHP. Now php.ini, I searched it and I found out here, this is the file php.ini and this file is located in this place, which is applications slash map slash bin slash PHP and the PHP version, which is PHP 7.0.15 and it is in the configuration folder. Okay, let's go to this folder. I'm going to command F. So I'm going to uh, find the file. I'm going to do the finder here. Applications as this showed there. So applications. And then I will search for the map because I want the map there, which is in the applications. Now in the map, double click on it. You'll get all these things. Now let me collapse this. Now in the map, what they said. So when you go to the map, you need to go to the bin and next PHP. So let me go to the bin. So this one I already opened that's why it's coming like that so it's a PHP and after the PHP I need to click on this version which is PHP 7.0.15 even though I have the latest PHP version it is showing here in the PHP 7. You need to follow this path which is this path 7.0.15 click on this and there in the configuration folder you can find this a php.ini. Now you can open this with any of the sub editor like uh, now I am going to open this with the sublime text. Uh, let's open this with uh, sublime text so let me open this yes this is the file that's the php.ina file so here is the place i'm going to change that value from 32 mb to maximum like 50 mb or 100 mb whatever value you like so let me again search for command f so i'm searching for the 32 so i can replace that value so here you have a post maximum size so let's work out post maximum size to be 50 mb so let's like 32 and this one I'm going to select 32 to 50 MB post maximum size or let me put this as 100 MB in future suppose if I get any error. So let me search for 32 again this is the most important one upload maximum file size. So I want the file size to be 100 MB like that's the maximum I want so I'll change this one and I'll control command s so to save this file and I'll go back that's it actually what uh, that's that's the thing what we need to do that's the uh, finding the php.ina file from the map php info file and you go there and change the uh, post max size and the up upload uh, limit and then you can uh, come here and then you need to stop the map first because uh, those changes need to take effect so I'm going to stop the map so which is uh, let me open the map I open this map I'm going to stop the servers okay so it's asking for the password type it okay it stopped let's start the server again which is the map server it's taking a while taking a while start it okay so now I have the map server if I go back let's check whether this local host is working or not first of all Yes, it's working. So if I go back to this uh, Moodle, that's where I'm working now, Moodle backup. And if you can look at this import section and import, you can find this 100 MB. That's it. That's what we want. And if I click on the choose file, I can select now the Moodle SQL file, which is the 34 MB. And if you click on go, perfect, that's working. That's it, guys. We'll meet in our new tutorial. Have a nice evening.